What you will need for this application is the Photon Control SPM002 ET64, two SMA fiber patch ports for UV Viz, cuvette holder, tungsten halogen SPL2H light source, and a color filter sample. Let's get started by taking a closer look at these products. Key features for the tungsten halogen light source is an integrated cooling fan which allows for a higher light output, a dimmer control for fine tuning of output intensity, an inline filter holder to customize output wavelength. Let's go ahead and connect the power source and then connect the SMA fiber patch cord. Here we have the four-way cuvette holder, which collects UV, Viz, NIR, light. Glide the color filter sample into the cuvette holder. And simply connect your fiber. Measurement magic happens with the Photon Control SPM002 ET64 compact spectrometer. Its key features are a spectral range of 200 to 1090 nanometers, a high resolution and sensitivity with 2048 by 64 pixels, a USB 2.0 high speed connector interface, a 16 bit AD resolution and boasts anti-blooming benefits used to distinguish emission lines with large differences in power levels. Connect your SMA fiber patch cord to the spectrometer. Then finally connect the spectrometer to your computer through the USB 2.0 high-speed connection. I'll pass it over to Nick for the complete color filter absorption analysis. Hi, this is Nick, the sales coordinator for Photon Control Inc. and I'm here to show you some of the new features of Specsoft Pro 4.0. At first glance, you'll notice we've cleaned up our user interface quite a bit. We've made it simpler than ever to capture a dark spectrum, a reference spectrum, collect data points, and interact with the graph. Open the configuration tab now. Where you'll see we've got options for triggering controls, spectrometer controls, such as enabling automatic dark subtraction, as well as changing your exposure tuning setup, changing your axis to wave number, and options for radiometric scaling. To the logging tab, where you'll see we can change options for log duration, interval, and format, as well as easily see where our files are about to be saved. Now over to the Plasma tab, where you'll see we've added an entire new feature set. Alright, on to our simple transmission measurement. First things first, let's disable the fit. Next thing we want to do is collect a dark spectrum. This is done by simply turning off the light source and pressing the dark spectrum button. Now let's turn back on the light source. As you can see, we get a nice profile from our tungsten halogen SPL2H light source seen earlier in the video. Now let's store a reference spectrum. Great. As you can see, some new tabs have opened up. The absorption and transmission tabs, which will be used further on. Also, hit the concentration tab for analysis later on. So first thing you'll notice is that without the filter, we're obviously at 100% transmission and 0% absorption. Let's apply the filter. Right off the bat, you can see that a lot of the visible spectrum 
has been absorbed, leaving nothing but the red part. This is also confirmed by selecting Absorbance tab. You'll see that between 350 and about 575 nanometers, it's all the light is almost completely absorbed. Clicking on the Transmission tab, you'll see that there's quite a sharp artifact here, allowing nothing below that 575 mark, and allowing almost everything past that. And that wraps up our brief demo. Thank you for watching. Need more detailed specifications about photon control spectroscopy products? Download our free data sheets online.